Remember, pick out your enemy and circulate, yeah? Go round her, full of menace. But remember, never touch, never touch. Okay. I mean, I said no touching, and I'm only part-time. Half the girls are in here because nobody's bothered to touch them. At home, at school, even with a barge pole. So they reach out. Well, I just thought I'd report. Ben, on your way down, drop in and see Mrs. Featherstone. Although she is trained, she can't quite see how West Side Story helps. Look, it was about control. I mean, I've heard you often enough. If we can't help them control themselves in here, how the hell do we expect them to outside? I'm not criticizing. I approve. I'm supposed to be an archangel, but I've had enough failures to fill the House of Commons. Next time, touch. Only explain what you're doing. Nobody's told these girls much. They've been shunned, ignored. But they and we know that they can't stay in a place like this all their lives. And you don't put shattered things together without picking them up first. Here, come out here a minute. Yes, sir. Two o'clock. All I can see is a bunch of so-called detectives sitting on their fannies. Now, you lot should be out. Barrett, admin's upstairs. Now, what are you doing? Oh, no. If we can go into your office, no, sir, let's I'll fill you in. front of them. All right. Sergeant Barrett's been getting those conspiracy to rob papers. Three bloody right? weeks ago, that team was nicked. Why is he still doing it well, now? I've been stuck with some statements, The CIA who did some of the oddbos on the bank have been helping Kent and Sussex out on the coast. The drugs jump. You mean they've been sat on their asses in pubs and clubs drinking with the local yokels, right? Do you bell them? No. Well, then you should have done. They could have done their statements in their hotel rooms. Got transport coming up the smoke every day. What about him? He's had three days in Crown Court, Thank plus you. the Barclay card fraud. There's three to be lifted on that. Well, I'm glad we'll be getting some bodies in. I thought you lot had joined the Gurkhas. Take no prisoners. <laughs> we find that funny. Uh, no, this yours? No, sir. No, sir, that's mine. Wait. Half twelve to the In the line of duty? Hans playing squash nowadays, are they? I suppose you've got a good word to say for him, him and him? Yes. And what about you? You're an inspector, you're operational, you're not deskbound. Not yet. here, sir. Your office or mine. You keep up the sniggering, you'll find yourself wearing a funny hat. When I get back, I want this place empty. Jesus. <laughs> He's not about today. You're going to have to settle for me. Look, sir, I know that you're my chief inspector, but let's stick to the rules, shall we? Don't slice me in front of the other ranks. I meant every word. Know what's works coming in? How many on the charge sheet? Lately you've seen the property store, we could sell it to Oxfam. What's the problem? The area on our backs? The figures speak for themselves. I'm beginning to wonder if we've got eight blown detectives out there. What do you mean? They've got nothing left in them, they're running out of steam. They don't like paper. Nicking bodies is hard enough, but paper works worse. It takes days out of you. Then they'll have to be quicker. I want them up there on the streets. Results out there, not perched on their desks. Here, trumpet. 
Maggie, you're operational. I'm the paper man. Now, get them out of there and yourself. I want those cells filled. If not, it's going to have to be changes, right? Sir. Rose, yeah, put your typewriter down a minute, love. We've got some extra paperwork coming in from the troops. Yeah. Yeah, if it's uh, overtime, I'll pay. Oh, where's the funeral? Oh, uh, bollocking time. Who from? Jimmy, I'll take it in my office. Right, I want everybody out. I'm confiscating your cushions. Come on, out! Oh, 20 million lemmings. Can't be wrong. Well, did we win? No. He did the nail touch. If you hadn't taken four hours over a remand, you'd be entitled to criticise. Very touchy. You and I are on the streets. No, I thought that was a purely female occupation. Prisoners, bodies. Have you lost your power of arrest a bit? What do you mean? Ask the man. Inspector Forbes speaking. 401 PC Newton here, ma'am, from Victor November. I'm at the Haleyside Detention Centre. I understand from Mr. Burwell here that you dealt with a girl, Deborah Richard, a couple of years ago. She's absconded from here, ma'am, between 11.15 and 11.30 today, ma'am. Pass me, Mr. Burwell. Now, what's happened? The impossible. She's done it. Yes, I can imagine. There's more locked doors in Haley's side than Fort Knox. Well, the art studio is away from the main blocks, you know. She ran out there out over the gate and away. You reckon she's coming out west? Well, there's our promise. Ralph? Yes or no? It was about 15 months ago. Shouldn't she have been in Holloway? Well, she has been most of her time, but the Home Office, due to her age, sent her here to finish off. What do you think is coming my way? Well, the resident psychiatric report here suggests that she's got three main obsessions. Home, contact with males, and you. I was doing my job. You arrested her. Pages of it here. You're in and out of the hall. Am I going to be hung or shot? Hang on a minute, Ralph, will you? Jimmy, ring registry at the yard. I want the docket on one Debbie Richard. Two years ago, Brighton News. I'm supposed to be on the street. It's an order. Date of birth. Well, she's 16 and a half now. You work it out. You tell them I want it urgently. Tell them to have it in the weights callers tray at 3 o'clock. You're the caller. Ralph, I want an up-to-date description. It's a long time since I've seen her. Copped a lot of faces since then. Right. Five foot six and a half, hair chestnut, last seen wearing blue shirt, grey jeans and a sheepskin coat. Oh, uh, yes, and a woolen hat. Distinguishing marks, a small red and blue tattoo on her right lower forearm with the letters D, T, O, and E, Z. What do they mean? Never said. Is there a photograph? Yes, taken on her first appearance in Holloway. She's filled out there since then and her hair is now long. Can you send it? No, you'll do better than that. Um, you see, uh, duty officer, I want it up here before you finish tonight. Any grumbles, your D.O. can ring me. Yes. Will you ask Mr. Burwell if her parents still live at the same address, and I'll see to them. Uh, Barbara, yes, they do. Okay. Ralph, I'll be in touch. Take care. I'm too young to die. Bye -bye. More grief. I've got a job running. Good. Life or death. Where's Bob Croft? Try the pub. New cadet, he's off to the yard. I've given him the date of birth off that. He knows what to do. Oh, thanks. Hey. James Paris, Dean Street Studio. He used to make award winning films like uh, Hot Dames on Cold Slabs. I only watch Dallas when I'm home. Well, I want you to get off down there, have a word in Mr. Paris's ear. Inspector, I heard you telling the man. I've got the kite in the wrap up. Three tasty cons waiting for me, little knot. I'm sorry. On the front. I want to see Sergeant Paul. She's an inspector. I need um. I asked up the Nick, and I said she was home. Who are you? She helped me once. Honey. Honey. Uh, I'm just out of where I've been. I wanted to say thank you. You were son. Yeah. Can we cut the tea? 
Apo. Sugar? No. I'm Sandra. Sandra Nelson. Good, you won't mind if I ring up. Only we're a bit funny about people strolling around our back garden. Why? Think I'm a laugh? She's an inspector. And the Nick never gives private numbers. So? Well, how do you know about him? He's in my phone like the only. They never tell you anything, you know. You have to look. Will she be long? I hope not. I get hungry waiting. How long you been out? Two weeks. Mr. Richard. That's for his beer. I should have married a leprechaun. I only like Guinness. Has Debbie been here today? She's inside. When did you last see her? She wanted a pair of bright socks that shine in the dark. They give her standing. So I took her two lots for Christmas. She over the side. Today. Don't worry. If she comes here, we'll tell you. It sounds as if you've got much time for her. She's not our girl anymore. Jack agrees you can ask him. She hasn't been the girl we knew for the last three years. She's done diabolical things. What do you expect? Jack? Jack! Jack Jones? That's nice mum, not me. Where do you live? Wanstead. How'd you get in? Job. What you worried about? I won't touch her. If your bird comes in, I'll wait in another room. Okay? Okay. Will she be long? I haven't got a bird. <laughs> Your mum. That depends. I'll go and ring up. Okay. Have you got an up-to-date photograph of her? No. What? Your daughter. Why are some little animals? Why like you touch a baby's skin, they're all the same. We used to visit every fortnight at first, but she was very violent with her eyes. Think about it. Then tell me. Do you think she might go back to what she was doing before? Well, I don't know. I mean, thrashing don't help. Look, if she does turn up, would you ring that number fast? When you visited or talk to her. Did she ever mention me? No. What was that? Yes, well, thanks anyway. She's gone out. Some bird didn't even know where to. Do you mind if I wait? No. Hey, she's really long. I'll cook you a meal. I used to have my own flat, you know. Kitchen. Little corridor. William Morris curtains. And a six foot Snoopy in the hall. Where? Can we play this? If you like. You put it on. I don't know how to work it. Inside, you don't keep up with. You know, so, uh. Will you explain it? 
What were you in for? Killing somebody. Now what? Take it to water. Oh, uh, there's a photo being sent up from Victor November. And I dock it on your desk. Oh, good. Uh, Croft's in there with your guests. Yes? <laughs> yeah, excuse us. What the hell do you think you're doing? Well, nature and myself abhor a vacuum. And besides, do you want strangers paddling around in your drawers? And you're in trouble. I'm busy. Now, look, Maggie, I know all about that kid. She's handy with a ship. You've been doing too much reading. Well, do you think it's wise getting involved with her again? Now, shouldn't you hand it over? I have colour you are bang on. Ralph. Hello, Margaret. Well, I, I'm sorry if we're in the way, but there was nothing to do oh, back there, so I thought I'd come looking. Uh, this is Ben Twyford. He gives a weekly right. drama class to the girls, Inspector Forbes. Well, she hasn't been home. Where would you start looking? Everywhere. Look, if we are in the way, please say. No, that's right. It's just that I don't want us going over the same ground. What was the address of that flat of hers? Oh, we've been there. It's owned by a publisher and a male maid. I know, we're not even sure that she's up here. Did you have any close friends in the unit? Uh, ones with friends or parents? No. Checked. We're both in trouble. So frightened. She's two people, Margaret. One's all smiles and eager to please, then the other. I reckon I couldn't move. Who? Some black trash. What happened when you. you know? Do you want to know about me? Yeah. Then ask your mum. Well, she's near. All right. Go on. Ask what you want. Well, we've got to make a deal. What? Oh, come on. You don't really want to know, do you? That's what I've said. You're trying to occupy me. Waste time till you're rescued. Give me your hand. Come on. You're not. Deal. I'll tell you about me. You let me cook. Okay. But why should I have to be rescued? I hate poetry. Join the club. Because killing people is wrong. What's it like? Having a mum for a copper. Or having a mum. You get funny visitors. Like me. What do you think she'll do, Mr. Twyford? Well, to tell you the truth, I'd pinned hopes on the flat she used to have. Look, I'm not a psychiatrist. But some things are so obvious you'd be a cretin not to see they're important. I mean, I realise she says a lot to hide what she thinks. And she does things to provoke, and then she can't accept responsibility for the chaos afterwards. For instance? Well, she's always wanting to dress up. I mean, if, if I ask for suggestions from the class, ideas for improvisations, she always wants a fancy dress party, or the Civil War, nightclubs. 
I was right. Yet as soon as some of the others suggest something domestic, she'd then give a brilliant rundown of a family situation. When she'd describe a flat, always the same one. And then she'd attack anyone who said great idea. What were you right about, Margaret? About where I'm going. Is she psychotic? No. But she is a mess. Come on! You're so slow, you couldn't even catch a dose. We got eggs, eggs, eggs. Eggs or omelette? Omelette. Oh. Well, I eat cheese. That's off. So it'll have to be egg omelette. Oh, please. Up there. You're just like my dad. What does he do? Salt and pepper. He makes beer. <laughs> or he, uh, he hands out beltings. Advice. Do this. Do that. He can't even get a job. Don't that. Then he gets pissed. And he hates everybody. Especially me. But you like him? Do you like yours? He's dead. What about this deal, then? You got lard? Mum uses Marge. Make that work. I wish we had chilies. Or peppers and mushrooms. I can cook. I'm really good when I've got the right materials. Socks. I'm sorry, darling. It's happening some other time. Haven't you forgotten something? What? If you're not too hungry, can I have my sergeant back? Shall I come too? No, not where I'm going. I don't have to make promises or threats which we won't be able to hear. You coming back tonight? No, I'll keep on looking. Well, if you find her, ring here. If not, and you want a bed, you know where we are. Yes. I think there's still a lot of things to talk about. Take care. Goodbye, Mr. Twyford, and thank you. Don't worry, we'll find her. Cheers, love. Bye -bye. So I stayed out. I was never on the game, never. The prosecution tried to say that in the court, but they was malicious. What photographs? What do you think? What age was you when you looked at stuff like that? So? What's the bloody difference? You looking at me or my looking out at you? I'm not attacking you. Well, I am. Would you like some more tea? It's all right. I said a deal. I'll keep it. You don't have to. Only that... malt... found me through the magazines. Kept trying to get me on it. Trying, trying... Presents, God... Followed me around everywhere, smiling like a daft puppy. Then the bastard found my flat. I don't know how he got in, but 
I didn't want him in there. He was like dirt on the floor. So? I didn't want him in there, right? So, I said yes. We went out into this muse. He, he put his hand under my hair. So I stabbed him. My mum keeps cactuses. Do you smoke? No. Do you do anything? No. Do you think I'm pretty? Very? Quite? Or almost? Sometimes. And I like the socks. When? When you cook. Older men fancy me. About my dad's age. Does that hurt you when I say that? Yes, a bit. I hurt everybody. Ben Twyford, Mr. Burwell, most of all me. You can't go in like that. Mr. Paris. It's the filth. Hey! I'll get cold now. There is filth. Mm, bad luck. Inspector! Not too close, she's only human. Brought your son with you, have you? Half hour or the full whack. She's back in circulation. Has she been in touch? Don't know the face. Yes, you do. Two years old. Oh, leave it out. I've got six different girls a week. They come, they go. The stage name was Sandra. Sandra Nelson. You were mentioned in court. I thought she was inside. Not anymore. Don't hear the shutters working. She was in one of your mags. <sighs> You've got any daughters? Nobody gets touched in here. Well, if she does turn up, you're going to ring us, aren't you? Oh, come on, look, they're all legit. Yeah, you'll ring. Because if you don't, there's a small offence. Harbour. And take my word for it. I'll be round here. Inspector, I have always been straight with the law. <laughs> and your past record, Mr. Paris, I would say that was doubtful. Still walkies. What does that tattoo stand for? You're a liar. Well, so are you, remember? You knew all the time. You knew she was on late stuff or some stupid thing like that. You never told me. It's unfair. You're not the centre of things. Oh, that's very sensitive. You think I'm mad, don't you? Look, nobody's keeping you here. You can go any time you want. Leave a number and I'll <gasps> tell Mum. You don't get me like that. Like what? Leave a number? Look, I think you're a very nice bouncy person, but it's you who want to see her. Excuse me. run. Must be the day for losing people. No, there was this girl. She came to see Mum to thank her. Sandra. Sandra who? 
Nelson? Sandra Nelson. Ah, listen, just had a call concerning one J. Price. Now, what are you doing visiting pornographers? You mean he's complaining? No, but I've seen publications are. Oh, coppers watching coppers. What's going on? Stick around, Sergeant. All due respect, sir, I've still got two meets tonight. The first time in this man's outfit, I'm taking paperwork home now. I can't pedal my bike any harder. Hang about. Now, now listen, you know it's touchy. It's all uniforms now, CIDs up. I told you, I've got a job running. Well, so tell me again, what's your line of inquiry? This girl, she escaped from Haley's side today. I arrested her two years ago. Huh? Well, what about this? Uniforms will pick her, huh? She was in a secure unit. She's carrying a knife. She doesn't like home, men, or me. How long have you known about this? Seven, eight hours. There are 150 men on every 24 hours in the West End walking the streets just looking at faces. after me. I'm talking about you. Now, Bob Croft said you needed help. On instructions, I have been out there. What, you didn't think it necessary to get yourself covered? To tell that 150 men we're looking for? Now, how many of your snouts have you seen? Um, seven. Seven. There are 14 other CID officers here with contacts. They're busy. They've got their own trays to empty. I'm having you covered day and night. Sergeant Fenton. Oh, are you sure you can spare him? I can't spare you. Four other Nicks cover chunks of this manor. No doubt you haven't told them either. D.I. Forbes. Hello, Mr. Oh, hello, Steve. Hang on a minute, will you, love? Now, look. I'm passing the yard. I'll have enough covers of this to swamp the West End first thing tomorrow. Sir. Come with me, Sergeant. Hello, love. Look, I'm sorry I haven't been back. Mr. Burwell thinks I ought to tell you. A girl called Debbie's been here all evening. Only I didn't know that was her name. She said she wanted to thank you. Anyway, she's shut off. You've been a very lucky boy. I'm coming straight back. Don't let anyone in. Right, our lady's been to my place. So I'm going back. I want you to have another look at Paris's dump and then check the hot dog stands, the chestnut cellars, if it's nothing. And I'll get as much as this lot cleared up tomorrow morning. Right, we'll be on the trot from 11 onwards when all good ladies are up and about. Now, my brief is to stick with you day and night. Jimmy, there are two men sleeping at my house already tonight. Three would be a crowd. No, I'll be at the prison department. Yes, she does. Yeah, I'll be back anyway. Bye-bye. Anything? No sign, no call. I'm still being third degree. Oh, Maggie. I used to wonder how she went about extracting confessions. Look, if I'm worried about me, I'm more than worried about you. Nothing happened. Well, one thing's for certain, you're not staying here today. She won't come back. Who can you stay with? I mean it. Brian. Well, all right, you get ready and I'll drop you there on my way in. Can I finish this first? You got any more ideas? Well, her saying that she got your address, my file, that's impossible. What she might have seen is my desk diary. I do keep addresses in there. Why, mine? Christmas card. Steve, you haven't got time for that. Anagram. No, it isn't. Peerless Mansion, 5, 2, and 7. House of Commons. Do you know what those letters in her wrist meant? No idea. Maybe it's an anagram. 
Can't be. There's only one vowel. You need to say it. M-A-D, Mum and Dad. Down with... Nah. Death to Mum and Dad? She wouldn't hurt anybody. Three little holes in the ground. We have a dossa. What you want? Missing it all, are we? What you want, Debbie? A fag. <laughs> Hell, Bill's after you. Photos. The lot. It's my duty, as an upright citizen, to tell the inspector. I fancied you with your hair short. <laughs> Look, I've got the Photographic Society coming here at 12 o'clock or 3 o'clock. You're going to stay here all day, because I don't want that. I do not like little girls who talk about me in court. And I definitely do not like my premises broke into. So, I reckon the best thing I can do to keep the streets clean is to get you off my hands. Right? Now, do you hear? <laughs> oh. Get down no, hold, hold. Why not? Well, no, with obscene publications probably sitting off, this calls for a little diplomacy. Damn. You know what tell the governor? No, Mr. Russell's down at the yard for a briefing on next weekend's little nonsense and collecting photos. Good. Everybody's out. What are you doing with that mango? I told you, night and day with Inspector Forbes. She's due in, sir. We didn't finish till midnight last night. I'm Bob Croft's gone down to Jimmy Paris's club. He's just had a visit from the little lady we're looking for. She starved it. That? Got it in his cash hand. He'll live. You on the bell? Yeah. Get these down to uniform early turn. Put in enough for the late turn and night shift. Yes. Ah, ready? She's been busy. What? Reserve. Reserve. D.I. Croft at the studio, Dean Street, get the following out on the radio. Wanted for grievous bodily harm at 10, 17 hours today, Deborah Richard, alias Sandra Nelson. You'll get her description, date of birth, etc., from D.S. Fenton up at the office. Last seen wearing... Oh, grey jeans, a sheepskin coat and a blue blouse. Grey jeans, sheepskin coat and a blue blouse. And that's dirty a bit. Is around with a knife and dangerous. To be approached with caution. Do not approach without assistance. Right. Give me half an hour. I'll have every face up west looking for her. She'll go places you lot don't know about. You're whining. Cutting me's OK, but thieving. You do not rub your own. Come on, you're going to help me. I'm bleeding. Well, it's a ratepayer's car. I'm not worried about the upholster. There's nobody here. Where's Paris? Go on. Where, darling? With your law. He you wouldn't even let me finish Jimmy's hand. Well, where did it happen? Did you find a knife? She's still got it with her. And that little bitch took our float. Right. She'd better not show around here. You know what he's yeah. like about money. He told your mate she's finished up here. He hasn't had time to put the word out on her yet. Oh, don't worry. He will. Where did Inspector Croft go? I don't Chief, know. They've got the knife. Where? Stratford. How? She threw it out of a taxi window. The driver went back for it. She took it to Stratford and we linked up. She's going home. He was a good bloke. We was going to do everything. Just a taste. Show you I'm not all forgetting people.
There you go. Hackney keg. Be lucky. To Debbie. Not you, Mrs. Richard? Yeah, she fancies ballet. I like the Amers. She's Chinese? I'm Vindaloo. Mr. Richard. You've always been like that. Wallpaper? Emulsion. She wanted three. I had enough with one. This is not strictly my job. You make me angry. I'm supposed to be back running Haleyside, not looking after one lost sheep. How dare you? I don't like my husband much, but sometimes yeah. I agree with him. One was enough. Your doctor says she's not ill, so she must be doing it on purpose. I could see that when she was here. I've told you. I've told everybody. We had to put up with a lot from her. We tried. All right, she might have been quicker than us, but that's no excuse. She wouldn't listen. I cried in the early days. Jack did once. But still she went her way. I've held her, locked her up, argued with her, taken her out, bribed. And don't forget, she came out of me. We have to live here. We keep a good home. And one day there's enough, and now I don't want to know. I think my husband's mad, and maybe I am. But we haven't got much time left, have we? I'm not a saint like you. If that's how you want to fill up your life, you get on with it. I'd rather be in Majorca. There are times when I could have killed her. Mrs. Richard. If she had that, she'd laugh. She laughs a lot too much, if you ask me. Have you ever thought of laughing with her? When I'm crying? Yes. Yes? Mrs. Richard, this is Detective Sergeant Fenton. Ralph? I'm here about the tattoo. Look, I've got work in 20 minutes. Mr. Richard, your daughter is in serious trouble. She always is. Bloody hell. You maniac! Take no, it easy. Stop. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Your boy's name Steve? Yes. He's nice. Why did you stab? He touched me. Where am I going? Haley's up. You. We'll be seeing you. Why? If you'd just run away, it would have been all right. But you did stand. 
you did burgle and you did thieve. He deserved it. He slime. When he gave over the incidents. Dirty. But you won't be working up west again. Before that, you need help. I need a fag. Is Madame in a good mood downstairs? What? Your young Debbie. To hear what she's charged with. Oh, she's uh, not here. Back in Hayside. Well, GBH, burglary, theft. One statement, compliments of Mr. James Paris. We are supposed to get bodies. Don't you remember? I don't see anything here about touching a juvenile. Well, we're her record. He was very clever with his hands. That's why he nearly lost one. If it comes to court, that's what the defence counsel will tell the court. Best of luck. 